hi guys. I wanted to share my information that I finally received about the genetic test that I had taken uh, through GeneSight. GeneSight.com. Um, I will have the address listed above. Um, yeah, so basically I took the genetic test um, to how my body processes the medication and it, you know, if I process it too fast or it's too slow or, or whatever, um, that ultimately um, there's also certain uh, genetic markers that can um, identify mental health issues um, or other issues, uh, medical issues. And so with someone who struggles with depression, anxiety, and all that crap, um, I'm tired of taking all these medications and I just, they work for a minute and then they don't, or they make me a total whack job, or they make me not give a care in the world and like a zombie and I don't want to be that way. And I'm, I'm just done. I'm, I'm done with all this. It's, um, once I found out that this was available, I was like, well, why am I just now learning about this? Because evidently this has been out quite a while. This is not new science. And, um, but to me it is. <laughs> And for someone who struggles this with their whole life, yeah. Anyway, this is getting the politics of crap, and that's not what this is going to be about. So, all right. So I got my results, and I'm really excited. So, what I'm going to show you here is the is my results ultimately, and um, it's going to how my genes versus the drug on how it my body processes it. And there are going to be several different columns. There's going to be the, the drug, and then there's going to be um, the metabolism, metabolizer, ultimately, and all the way across. So um, your body processes in different ways, and this will um, let your doctor know how your <clears throat> excuse me how your body processes that medication. Um, so that way they know how to uh, adjust if they need to adjust the, the levels or, or whatnot. Um, yeah. And so looking over this, there's also categories, right? So you're going to have um, green is good. Green is where you want to be. Green is ideal. Green is perfect. Uh, yellow is, you know, so-so. Um, could be worse or could be better. And then red is stay away from you, you, your body doesn't process it very well and it's just ultimately it could be dangerous so you, you don't want to do that so i'm looking at these medications um that i have taken a lot of over the years and <clears throat> so green where you want to be i've taken some of them which is, which is good. So check is check mark. You'll see a check mark. It means that I've taken it, okay? So that's good. However, how my body processes that drug was not ideal. So you want to be in the very... You want to be the very first column. And that is called... I'm going to... Da, 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 the ultra rapid metabolizer, okay? That's where you're... That's where you want to be. That's ideal. And not one of those drugs I've been on that were ideal for, the, for that. No, not, not once. <laughs> yeah, wow. So then, sorry, this is shaky people. Okay, so then um, in the yellow, I have quite a few check marks. Again, not one in that column. Um, yeah. And then red that I should not take um, at all. Yeah, there's one there. I've taken probably for about three years. Yeah, wow. So I'm gonna kind of damage that did. <laughs> Anywho, guess we won't know why. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm gonna show you this. What well, you kind of look at now? I have. You're gonna see a little blue piece of paper at the top. And basically, what I did was I covered up PII. 
And those of you who don't know what PII means, it means personal identifiable information, which can link it directly to me or my personal information, things that you don't need to know, right? Right. That's right. Call it personal. <laughs> All right. So, let me put it down here. All right. And here we go. Sorry, I don't know how to do this any other way. So, here we go. And see, I've taken these here. And here's the the metabolizers. This is the the ideal the ultra one. And look at that. Not one of these I have taken those. I've taken the ones that have not, and they they were way off of here. See, they're way off the chart over here. So, huh? That's just in the green. Um, and then here's the yellow and the red. I've taken all those, and this is. You know, it, they're over here, which is, you know, it's, it's okay, and, but it, it, it's still, it, your body processes that drug differently. And look at these other ones. I mean, they're not really basically, I don't know, not even showing up, I guess. I mean, you know, I took this once, Zoloft once, and it did okay. And then when years later, they tried to put me back on it and made me nuts. Paxil is the only one that worked halfway decent. That was the last one I've just been currently taking. Prozac made me numb the world and could care less, you know, I could <laughs> You could have told me somebody died in my family, I'd be like, oh, okay, you know, <laughs> I, I don't like that. And Web U-Turn made me sick. But here, this is the one, Remron. I take in Remron, I took it for about three years. And I was like, don't take it. Red, bad. Red means bad. Or bad means red, whatever. So, what's this information going to tell me and my doctors? Well, yeah. Okay, so I did a little research. Educate myself. I'm not perfect on this, and so if I mess something up, I'm sorry for those of you who know more than me about it. Um, but I am explaining this the best that I can, or know how to. But I, I do want to talk about it. So basically, um, it's your genotype and phenotype, right? Um, we're either heterogeneous or homogeneous. Zygous. Heterozygous, homozygous, sorry. And basically what that means is, so you're inherit from your parents, you inherit from your mom and you inherit from your dad on whatever line of that genetic marker code is, right? It's blah, 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 blah. You know, um, basically what this is looking at is, and this is a big word and here we go, methylene tetrahydrofolate, abbreviation M-T-H-F-R, um, <laughs> and, um, so you inherit a genetic marker from your father and then from your mother. So a heterozygous, you would inherit, say, capital B from your dad and then a lowercase b from your mother. That's heterozygous. Homozygous is you inherit a low, or, or just a regular low B, non-capital B, from your father and a non-capital B from your mother. So they're the same. That's homozygous. Homozygous is considered not normal. So my breakdown of this basically was they identified me as either het heterozygous or homozygous and then to what of the genetic marker that was marked um, basically it was the TLL of the C677T polymorphism of the methylene tetrahydrofolate tetra yeah tetrahydrofolate okay <laughs> surprise surprise my comebacks as homozygous, not normal, for that marker. That's just for that one marker, okay? And so, therefore, what does that one genetic marker, what does that affect? What, how, what impact does that have on me? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's look at this. So, after further research, I have found... The homozygous methylene tetrahydrofolate 
C677T causes a variety of mental health conditions such as depression and anxiety. What about that? Yeah. Okay. So, how abnormal is this? Well, depends on how you look at it. So, <laughs> you know I had to know. <laughs> okay. 30 to 40% of the American population have... The genetic marker homozygous of the TLL of the C677T. In other words, the mental health. 30 to 40% of the American population, okay? Now let's break that down even further. 25% um, of anyone of Hispanic descent may have that marker. 25%. So that's, that's fairly low. 10 to 15% of Caucasian descent have this marker. I think that's me. <laughs> Last time I checked, I was Caucasian. <laughs> so, only 10 to 15% have that marker. So, you know, lucky me. I'm part of the 10 to 15% of Caucasians who have this marker that affect our mental health. I guess you can say thanks mom and dad, right? <laughs> Not their fault. So, I... I'm really wanting to be like a voice or advocate for mental health. Um, it's important, I think. We're misunderstood. All the time. I mean... Even today. Here <laughs> yeah, with my mom. It's... It's normal for me, I guess. But it's not for others. You know, I've lived this my whole life and I will continue to. And... I'm hoping this will help get me on track. So I can have better relationships with people. Um... I and mean, people can understand me a little bit better too. And that's why I'm doing this too. You know, we're not all crazy. Well, maybe. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I own it. So, hey, whatever, you know. I own this. I always said that, you know, all the, I get my craziness and our mental health issues come from our mom's side of the family. <laughs> hey. <laughs> But this proves, actually, no, it's inherited on both because you have to get them from both sides to have them, to, to have it. So it's on my dad's too. <laughs> so interesting. And they're not going to be happy about that. But oh, well, you'll get over it. <laughs> so anyways, so just remember maybe next time you run across somebody who might be mentally ill or having depression or anxiety or a little bit in, Maybe they're sad a little bit longer than what you would be over something. It's probably out of their control. Okay. Um, I know. I, I just, I just know in my family, um, you know, there's a lot of confusion about some stuff. Um, and, you know, people don't understand things. Well, Here's another, here's some more information. So, you know, keep your judgments to yourself. You have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Those things that we learned as kids, those still apply as an adult. So that's what I'm saying here too. You don't have nothing to say, nothing nice to say, then I don't want to hear it. But I'm done. You know, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, this is me. This is who I am. I'm owning it. And, you know. And I'm going to be an example for others. And we we gotta we gotta stick together, and we need to help people. There's people who 
who need this. And I'm hoping if I can help just one person, it's, it's going to be great. That they didn't have to go through some of the things that I had to go through. So anyway, I'm excited about this. Um, and I'll keep everybody posted. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you watched this far. Cool. Oh, thanks. Bye.